and today we are on a hunt for a tattoo. Maybe I knock? There's always points where we as humans get lonely. What's up, Mantis? Welcome back to another video here in the beautiful city of Mumbai. And today we are on a hunt for a tattoo. I'm already into the city and I believe there's a tattoo shop just down the road that we are gonna head to. And honestly, I'm excited. I have two tattoo ideas that I'm thinking of and hopefully the place that I'm going accepts walk-ins. So we'll find out and let's head on the way. These street markets are insane. Pretty tight. A little too tight for me. I'm a rather bigger guy, so I stay bumping into people, but it happens. So I just gotta figure out how far down I am. I think I have a ways still. Yeah, this is definitely a higher end area of Mumbai. Maybe not, I could be wrong, but there's a lot of shop, a lot more like name brand things here than I've seen in other places, but the energy and just the liveliness of it is incredible. Anywhere I go in Mumbai, there's just tons of people. Everyone's doing their thing. Yeah, everyone's friendly. Everyone says hello. It's been a good time so far. That sign was made for me. Pure, for sure, because I'm a very pure soul, as you know. <laughs> just kidding. Here's another one of these uh, like street temples type things. This one you can't really see as well, but it's still really beautiful. Look at the door on this thing. Wow, very pretty. I will say I'm glad I'm alone because if I was with some friends for the US or I always think of my mother, I don't think she would survive here, especially with crossing the streets because you just gotta kinda commit and go and hope you don't get hit. And I don't know if I have faith in her in doing that. So luckily it's just me. So I think that's where we need to go. I'm gonna check my phone, it is. So we just gotta cross the street here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Sweet. And it doesn't, oh, it says first floor. Tattoo shop. Down? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. From front, entrance. Entrance, okay. Thank you, brother. Okay, so first door is hotel, second one is the entrance, so let's figure it out. Tattoo shop? Ready? Upstairs? Up here? Alright, well, <laughs> we're figuring it out. Let's go. These tattoos. Maybe I knock? Let me check my phone, see if they're even open. Maybe they're not. Well, maybe I press this. That's wonderful. So I'm thinking of two of them, they're small ones. Uh -huh. So what we do is we'll show you different sizes of this. Where do okay. you want to place this? Kind of like right across here. So we won't be doing, so once you fold this, you'll get wrinkle here, we can mm, do it here. Do it up there, yeah. perfect. We get manatee number two. Because we have a huge It's distance. like, yeah. Perfect. Okay, that works. Wonderful. Sweet, We're getting another manatee. I am so excited. I'm like geeking out right now. So I just learned there's a doorbell here. So thinking back to me just standing out there like an idiot. Yeah, feeling pretty stupid. Tattoo and chai. It's 
brought it up. Look at this thing. Alrighty, well, we're back on the street. That was very fun. I'm so happy with how the tattoo turned out. Uh, the one in Hindi is very beautiful, and then the manatee is incredible. I'm very, very blown away by how good the manatee is. And yeah, my tattoo artist was absolutely incredible. I'll leave the link to the shop down below as well as the name of my artist. Incredible. Very, very grateful. Not really sure what to do now. I think I'll look on my map and kind of walk around a little bit and see what there is to do. But yeah, that was that was such a fun experience. And I definitely think a little bit cheaper than the US and I tipped my tattoo artist uh, a fair amount because I was just grateful. She is very nice, she is very caring uh, and gave me like an incredible tattoo, one that I think I'll love for the rest of my life. So we're gonna continue on the way and I'll check back in once we figure out what we are gonna do next. There's no way you can see that because it's a GoPro and my camera's not that good. Someday though, we'll have a better camera for these vlogs, I promise. But this backdrop is incredible. It is a little foggy, uh, which seems to kind of be the vibe of the city, but the entire bay you can see and it's just skyscrapers as far as you can see. I guess like, I don't know, when I came to Mumbai, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was a big city, but also like, again, I was just in New York probably about a month ago. And this gives me like big city vibes like that, which obviously it is, but I'm just blown away. This is so beautiful. I mean, there's skyscrapers as far as the eye can see. And when I was walking through, it's just like such a green city and very lively. I mean, there's so many people here along Marine Drive and I'm just gonna keep walking really till I feel hungry, wanna get something to eat um, and feel like going back. But yeah, this is, this is awesome. Very glad I came down here. Wasn't that far of a walk, maybe 20, 25 minutes, but we're just gonna keep on going, keep exploring and see what we can find for the evening. So just upstairs? We'll keep it, yeah. Perfect, thank you. upstairs? Oh. One up? Okay. Yeah. Got a nice view of the beach, so this is gonna be sick. All right, well, I'm gonna have to take some look and I definitely need a cocktail because I just got a tattoo of a manatee. I deserve a cocktail. So, they got espresso martinis. Oh, baby. All right, we got our shisha. I haven't smoked shisha in, I don't even know how long, probably years. Alrighty, we got an espresso martini. Never see him look this way, but let's give it a shot, see how it tastes. Smells dangerous. Strong. Not too bad though. Tried a couple of these, probably die. For right now though, we're just chilling, probably gonna get some food. As soon as I sat down, I felt so tired. And that's the big issue is I think I'm pushing myself a lot because I was just sick. And now I'm in Mumbai and I'm feeling, feeling good, but definitely need to prioritize rest because I still have three days 
uh, and I'm moving tomorrow to a different part of Mumbai, different hotel. So for now, we're just gonna enjoy where we are, enjoy the sights, enjoy the drinks, enjoy the shisha. We ordered some food too, so when that comes, I'll show you what food we got. They have like Chinese food here, so we'll see how that is. Just got some vegetables and noodles, but we're feeling good. We're enjoying the night. Some more people showed up in the back, so we're just taking it all in and trying to relax as best as we can. Oh, my foot fell asleep. This is painful. But our veggies have arrived. They steam it. I figure get veggies because, you know, try to stay healthy, eat some good greens, eat some things that replenish the body. Oh my God, my foot hurts so bad. We're gonna dig in. It's about to be good. I've been craving that. I will say one thing I've thought about today, being in Mumbai, is that I've seen a lot, especially along Marine Drive, I've seen like a lot of couples, also seen a lot of groups of friends and again this is like one of the first times there's been a couple times throughout this trip that i've been like alone but seeing people with groups of friends gives me a mix of uh happiness like happy to see just humans enjoying time with each other like for example the group over there just enjoying the company of one another but also vlogging and traveling like this it does come at the expense of loneliness i was even thinking that last night sitting in my hotel room just how this is great and i love this and i'm very glad that i'm doing this and like proud of myself for pursuing my passions but loneliness always creeps in i mean no matter what stage of life you're in where you're at in the world whatever the case may be there's always points where we as humans get lonely and i've definitely felt that here in mumbai but on the flip side I definitely feel like I'm not far off from making this my career and making this my lifestyle. I have to imagine no more than a couple years until this is what I can like do full time. Just got to figure out ways to monetize and make money uh, and sustain. Now, you know, that's the goal is figuring out ways that I can not only support myself, but then create something that offers value to other people. And that's the goal in all of this, is figuring out how to add value. I mean, that's the goal in any business, is how do you solve problems and how do you add value? But I do know that as I continue this, I'll find my people, whether that be here in India, whether that be here somewhere else in the world, it's coming. So I, I'm very grateful for that. But, you know, obviously in the meantime, it's like, it does get lonely. Like there's, there's no way around it and I don't want to make this seem like oh this is the best thing ever because there are moments where it's not the best but you keep pushing like any business in the world whether it be travel vlogging whether it be like my friend Betty back home in Ludiana whether it be his electronics business no matter what it is it's like there are moments where it is a little bit lonely and isolated but you have to keep pushing the right people will find you and you will find the right people and I mean, who knows? In a year's time, two years time, three years time, five years time, my life will look completely different. And I'll probably be surrounded by people that I love very much and, you know, be doing this travel thing and creating memories with a bunch of different people. But for now, this is awesome practice to just learn more about myself and become better connected to myself. I think that's the biggest thing. So just thought I'd share. I'm gonna continue digging in. These veggies are wonderful. So we're gonna continue munching. We are back on the streets and I'm gonna cut the video there. Dinner was excellent and the tattoo was awesome. That's something I've been wanting to do and hopefully you enjoyed watching. Very, very pleased with both this tattoo as well as my manatee. So I will see you in the next video tomorrow. We are heading to a different location, Juhu Beach, which I've heard many good things about. And we'll see what kind of adventures we can get up to over there. And I'll see you in the next video.